Good morning students. In previous class we learned how to subtract like fractions and how to subtract unlike fractions, right? Then next exercise. In this next exercise if you see subtraction of whole numbers and mixed fractions, right? See here a small point I will tell you. See whole number we know how to make a whole number as a fraction. How can we make? By keeping by one. So 12 becomes a fraction. If you write 12 by 1, right? And then how to convert a mixed fraction to improper? We know these two you should multiply and add this. 5 8s are 40. 5 8s are 40. 40 plus 4, 44 by 5. See, this is a small point we are going to learn in this exercise. Remaining part, we know everything because in 5.4 we learned how to subtract improper fractions, right? So, Today's session is going to be a revision on subtracting fractions. So, follow the class carefully. In exercise 5.5, first Roman we have MCQs. Second Roman is find the difference. Okay. See, what are the numbers here? Whole number and a mixed fraction. You know how to make a whole number as a fraction? How to? Just keep by 1. 4 can be written as 4 by 1. Then how to convert this mixed fraction to improper fraction? We know. 4, we have to multiply with a 1. Then we must add 4 ones are 4. 4 plus 3, 7. So, 7 by 4. Now you know remaining part very well, right? How to subtract two unlike fractions. In last session we learned the same thing we will follow today also. See, here 1 and 4 are different denominators, unlike fractions. Step 1 is, to find the LCM of denominators. What are denominators? 1, 4. What is the LCM of 1 and 4? Children, while finding the LCM of two numbers, like 4 and 1 in this, if one number is 1, okay, then the other one will be the LCM. So, LCM of 1 and 4 will be 4. LCM of 1 and 5 will be 5. LCM of 1 and 6 will be 6. LCM of 1 and 9 will be 9. I hope you understood. So here, no need to find LCM separately. So tell me what is the LCM of 1 and 4? 4 only. Right? So LCM is 4. Okay. Now, step 2. Make the denominators as 4. Let's take 4 by 1. And 7 by 4. Tell me children. 1. With which number we should multiply 1 to make it 4? 1, 4 is our 4, right? Into 4. Now, already we have 4 only. So, no need to multiply with anything. Directly, you write 7 by 4. So, it becomes 16 by 4. This is 7 by 4. We know how to subtract them, right? 16 by 4 minus 7 by 4 is... Subtract the numerator. 16 minus 7 is 9. So, answer is 9 by 4. Is it clear? Next step. 12 minus 8, 4 by 5. We know how to make 12 as a fraction. 12 by 1. How can we convert a mixed fraction? 5, 8 is 40. 40 plus 4, 44. So, answer is 44 by 5. Now, they are unlike. So, step 1, find the LCM. And we know what is the LCM of 1 and 5. LCM of 1 and 5 is 5 only. Right? Now, let us make them like fractions. Okay, children. Now tell me, with which number we should multiply 1 to make it 5? 1, 5 is our right. So, into 5 we must do. And already we have 5 only, no? So, no need to change. Write it as it is. So, 12, 5 are 60 by 5. Then you know very well, 60 by 5 minus 44 by 5. So, 60 minus 44. 60 minus 44 is 16. Next problem. 5 minus 2, 2 by 3. See, convert this 5 as a fraction. 5 by 1. Good. Next, how can we convert this mixed number to improper fraction? 3, 2 is our 6. 6 plus 2, 8. So, the answer is 8 by 3. Now, tell me children, what is the LCM of 1 and 3? 3 only, right? Okay, very good. So, LCM is 3. LCM of 1 and 3 is 3 only. And then what to do? 
take the given fractions 5 by 1 and 8 by 3. Tell me children with which number we should multiply 1 to make it 3? Into 3, right? So 2 into 3 into 3. So it becomes 15 by 3. Here we have already 3 only. So no need to change. Write 8 by 3 as it is. Now subtraction. 15 by 3 minus 8 by 3. What is 15 minus 8 children? 7. So the answer is 7 by 3. Next. 12 1 by 9 minus 3 7 by 9. First we have to convert them into improper. How to? Multiply these to add numerator. Multiply these to add numerator. So 9 12 is 108. Right? 108 plus 1. 109 by 9 minus 9 3 is 27. 27 plus 7 is 34. So 34 by 9. See are the like or unlike? Like only. So directly we can subtract them. 109 minus 34 by 9. Let's find the difference between 109 and 34. 9 minus 4 is 5. 10 minus 3 is 7. So the answer is 75 by 9. Here we have two mixed fractions. We know how to convert them, right? Convert them. 9 7s are 63. 63 plus 8, 71. 71 by 9 minus, convert this, 18 3s. 18 into 3. What is 18 3s? 54. 54 plus 7, 61. Okay? So, 18 3s are 54. 54 plus 7, 61. 61 by 18. Are they like or unlike? Unlike. So, what to do? Find the LCM of 9 and 18. Let us find the LCM of 9, 18. 3 table, 3 threes are, 3 six are again. 3 table, 3 ones are, 3 twos are. So, what is the LCM? 3 into 3 into 2. 3 threes are 9, 9 twos are 18. What is the LCM children? 18 is the LCM. Right? So, let us convert both the denominators as 18. In the second fraction already we have 18 only. So no need to change. So I am writing it second fraction as it is. Now tell me in 9 table with which number we should multiply to make it 18? Into 2. Right. So what is 71 2's? 142 by 18. So step 1 LCM over. Step 2 converting like over. Step 3 subtract them. So let us write 142 by 18 minus 61 by 18. Right? What is 142 minus 61? 1 and here 8. Right? So 81 by 18 is the answer. If you see 81, 18 both cancel in eight, 9 times table. Right? Let's cancel them. In 9 table 2's are, 9 table 9's are. So Final answer is 9 by 2. Is it clear? Next. Here we have one whole number, one mixed number. You know how to make it fraction, right? 28 can be written as 28 by 1. Now convert this mixed fraction as an improper. 6 into 14 plus 5. 6 14s. How much is 6 14s, Nana? Let us check. 84. 84 plus 5 is 89. Okay. Let's write. 89 by 6. Are they like or unlike? 1, 6. They are unlike. So we have to find the LCM. We know LCM of 1 and any number is the number only, right? So LCM of 1 and 6 is 6 only. What is the LCM here? LCM is 6. Is it clear? Now let's change them as a like fractions. So LCM is 6. We already have 6 only now. So second fraction no need to change. Write it as it is. Now 1 if you multiply with the 6 we will get a denominator 6. Right? So multiply 6 sides are 48. 4 carry. 6 2 is 12. 12 plus 4 16. Okay, LCM over. Making them like over. Third step is subtraction. Take these two fractions. 
168 by 6 minus 89 by 6. Let us subtract the numerators, okay? 168 minus 89. So, 8 from 8, it's not possible. So, let's borrow. It is 18. 18 minus 9 is 9. And then 15 minus 8 is 7. So, 79 by 6 is the difference, okay? Next step. 3 minus 2, 11 by 13. We know how to convert a number to fraction. Just write by 1. Okay. Now convert this mixed fraction to improper. 13 2s. 13 into 2, 26. 26 plus 11, 37. Right. So improper fraction form is 37 by 13. Tell me children what is the LCM of 1 and any number? The number itself right. So, here LCM is 13 only. So, let's make them like 3 by 1, 37 by 13. Here already we have 13 only. So, no need to multiply with anything. Write the same fraction here. And tell me now, 1, within which number we should multiply to make it 13? Into 13, right? Let's multiply. So, 3, 13. 39 by 13. Right? Last step is we have to subtract them. 39 by 13 minus 37 by 13 which gives 39 minus 37 is 2. So the final answer is 2 by 13. Children, in today's session we learned how to subtract whole numbers and mixed fractions also. The same procedure we have used in addition of mixed fractions also, right? So, we learn, we learn nothing new today. Almost we know everything. The thing is practice. Okay, need more practice. So, practice these all problems. Thank you.